Manson home. Today we're going to be talking a little bit more about Control 4, specifically your on-screen display. We're going to be demoing this using our EA1 controller from Control 4 along with our remote, utilizing our Sony TV here that we have as a backdrop so you can see what's happening on screen while I'm behind camera giving you some close-ups of the remote as we navigate through this menu. So let's go ahead and look at our Control 4 on-screen display a little bit more closely so you can get the most out of your system. So now we've zoomed in a little bit closer on our television and let's go ahead and bring up that on-screen display. Currently, we are in the watch feature. Now right beside that, we have our red control four button. This is gonna bring up our on-screen display. And really, there's only gonna be five other buttons that we need for this demonstration. Those will be our four directional keypads as well as our select button. So let's go ahead and bring up that control four on-screen display. It's just going to switch us off of the watch and bring us into the current room we are. So the lobby is going to be our landing page. Right beneath that shows Dish Network, which is our current session or what we're currently viewing in this room. Beneath that, we do have our apps, channels, a couple of shortcuts for our Dish Network, our Netflix, our Blu-ray player, also a couple of audio shortcuts, Pandora and Deezer. And right beneath that, yes, we do have lighting controls. One thing that's very important when entertaining or watching a movie, it's always good to set the mood with lighting. So one of the reasons why we combine these two is to make it easier for you when you sit down for a movie and make sure you enhance that experience just a little bit more. So all we really have to do for our lighting controls is going to be hit the select button. This is going to be a toggle feature to toggle the lights off. And you'll notice with the wall, it did dim a little bit. And now we simply hit select again to turn those back on and brighten the room back up. Also, if you pick Pandora or Deezer, it will switch you to that app, which will display on the screen and take you out of the room menu, which you can come back to by simply hitting the red control four button. So we've explored the basics in a room, some of the different features you may find here. Now, one nice thing I do like about this is if you want to see your entire menu, it's actually hidden over at the side, much like one of the side menus in your Android telephone. So all we're gonna have to do is hit that left directional pad from over here off of apps, and it's gonna bring up that sub menu and show you that we're in the second item down, which is gonna be our current room. Now let's go up one and look at the house with the three bars. You re may recognize that from our music and sessions video shows our current session is the Dish Network once again in the lobby, which is also in the room page. But if we go down, this is gonna bring up all of our video sources. So we do have our quick, our quick 25 channels, some different apps we can add into it, or your satellite or cable service, and then a couple other video options at the bottom, including Hulu, Netflix, and Prime Video. We also have shortcuts to our players saved in here, like our Blu-ray player, our Apple TV, or our Roku, for instance. So these are gonna be all of the apps that are gonna be geared toward your watch feature. Now we slide back over to that menu one more time on the left and go down again. This is gonna bring up our listen function, which has all of the different music applications and services we could use. So let's explore that listen page a little bit more. So we do have some stations over here that can be pre-programmed from XM Radio or possibly Pandora, any other station, and saved in here. We also have our turntable, which is a hardwired device that we have plugged into the receiver. This is My Music, where you have your own music you've uploaded in, as well as a couple of different apps you may use like Deezer and Pandora. There's also an AirPlay function for if you want to stream some music off of your iPhone, iPod, or iPad. And then here's where you have the capability to add music. So you can open up the add music, you can add in different sources, you can add in different players, also edit some of the ones you have, including deletion. And that's how you go in and add different music. So we're gonna go back into this room that we're in with the listen, just so we can look one more time at some of the different features we have here. Now let's go down one more. And now you'll notice that we were in the lobby, we did have control over these lobby lights. Now you'll notice up here in the top center, we do have our lights as well as our scenes. Now the lobby lights are the current room we're in. So let's go ahead over and explore. Once again, we can toggle these on and off or at the very top notice there's lighting and scenes. So we can switch over to the scenes and see that there are no scenes in this room, but this is the room and this is the all rooms feature where you can see all of the lights or all of your scenes. 
Now you'll notice in our scenes, the store is open, so we're all on. We could scroll down here and do an entertain if we wanna watch a movie. There's a different lighting scene for that where the lights go to 15%. Then we have our entertain at 30%, our television, which is almost full, and our all on and on off for our scene features. Now, and this is for the theater because the theater is the only ones we have programmed in at the moment. So now see, if we switch back over to rooms. There are no scenes in any of the other rooms especially the lobby that we're in now. But if we switch back over to lights, we can see that here's the lobby lights in this room, or we can see all of the lights that we have listed. So now these that do not have a slide bar are gonna be a toggle on and off. Now you'll notice down here, our theater lights can be dimmed so they can have scenes programmed in. Once again, we have our control four remote. All we have to do is use our directional pad. So we're gonna to go to the left to bring that down. We're gonna to go to the right to bring that up, or we can hit the select button to turn the light off, or the select button to turn the light back on. And now that's gonna be our lighting feature. So once again, you can do the lights or the scenes, and you can view them in all the rooms or room by room. Now we're back over to our little side menu, and here's where we have our settings. Now our settings are basically going to give you some of the general info about your actual device. System info, for instance, is going to have the operating system, your build number, all of the different versions of software, as well as your IP address to be sure it can make connections and set up automatic updates if you have that enabled. This also tells you if you actually need an update or if something may be happening with your system where it cannot update automatically. And now we have our screensaver and our wallpaper, just like on your phone or tablet, they can be changed on here as well, or the handheld tablet, or of course the on-screen touch display. Now we also have our device settings. For security, I'm not actually gonna show you this page, but this page will house the IP address for your device, specifically your controller. It'll also give you the serial number of your device, so that way if you ever need to reference anything for warranty issues, or if you have any kind of service issues, this is where you can find your model number, EA1 controller, as well as your serial number and the IP address for your device. Now, service link is another really important one that I do need to show you. And here, there's only two options. Now, we always recommend having your remote service enabled. There are security protocols on here to where only your dealer or control for automated systems pushing an update can have access to this device. And the check-in feature is where you would actually check in if remote service is required. If you call technical support and any of our technicians need to log into your system to make repairs, you will check in and request that we come in and access that device so we can reprogram and make any changes and settings we may need to. And here is gonna be our side menu one more time. We do have our sessions, our current room, which is the lobby, our watch features, our listen features, all of our lighting controls as well as our settings. So now this is a brief overview of the actual on-screen display and just some of the things you can do with it. This is just a demo of what some of the options are on here that you can program. If you have any more questions or want to set up a demo to come by and check out our Control 4 system, give us a call at 910-317-0876 or you can always find us online at connectedhomenc.com. <laughs>